pops off. Now to remove the oil pump, a 10 millimeter socket. Uh, at this point, we can remove the counterweight. Again, I need two hands. Let me let me do that. Okay, counterweight is off. Now at this point, we're ready to remove this 12 millimeters on the tens. I have the impacts ready with the 12, with the 10. So let's go ahead with the oil pump. Here it is. Gotta make sure it has any markings. Like this one has some markings here, some some weird scratches. So this oil pump is trash. trash it's made of aluminum because recycle you know what to do I wait the 10 millimeter now we're gonna go to 12 if anyone out there needs any part let me know because this is the time all these parts are gonna go to trash even the bolts I have way too many bolts needle bearings the spacer. Let me get a magnet. We have a needle bearing here. We have the spacer here with the end play. I'll just say wait. Okay, I'll, I'll wait to remove on those. Let me bring the engine down. I suspect it when I bring it down this thing comes off this magnet for next needle bearing the spacer is still there it comes off you're gonna have different sizes this little bad boy is the one is gonna prevent your engine to being tight or loose uh, so the one we have right now is the letter letter D so we have, we're gonna save this one because we always need it. So now, one more thing. Our best friend again, hammer down. If you're gonna reuse the engine, hit it right on the on our parts, which is gonna be here, here on the other edge. As I'm filming this right now, I'm up uploading, uploading the other video on the one I show you guys how to re rebuild the engine on a on a bucket if you don't have the engine stand, and then how to install this middle uh, middle item with only one hand and by yourself, like a boss. But in the meanwhile, I'm filming this. That one is uploading. Today is what January 20, what, 28, 29. Is um Tuesday. So okay, it's coming off. It's already off. So what I'm gonna need? Oh, there you go. Who's gonna need two hands? But never mind. My big dog. So I'm gonna get this washer off. So now. Here's the other iron. Let me take a quick picture. Picture taken. So now there's our spicy Dorito. We're gonna get this iron. Put him on the table. Our best friend again. You can hammer this one down without any problems. All the all the keyboard warriors out there are gonna talk shit. You can go ahead and kiss my ass. You guys already know how to tell if you have the 6 port or 4 port stationary gears, you know how. Look inside of the bearing. If you have more than one hole in there, the oil passages, the little holes in there, that means you have the four more you have the six port six port. If you have only one hole, you have only the four port. So they can give you a different view from here, you can see it. Uh, lighting. Right there, see the holes in there? That's multiple. That means you have the six port. 
Anyway, move that thing on the way. We have the spicy Dorito. Most likely, I'm gonna need two hands. So let me see how I'm gonna do it. Get the water seals. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, this seal seems kind of new. So they did something in this one and they they messed up. That's why all the water went in. Because the seals, they don't look that old. Let me get the other spicy Dorito. Come to Papa. There we go. So we have the other thing. Now at this point, you know what to do with the next one. Our best friend, Hammer, hit him on the hard parts. Most likely I'm gonna need two hands, so yeah, let me put the camera down. I mean the, let me open that thing so I can show you the full view of all the parts up. Okay, so we have all the parts here. That is trash. Iron is trash. That one there is trash. So I found out what was the problem. The problem was that the head didn't have the lifters, didn't have the bows, didn't have the cams. So I, I lose the timing on the Mazda RX-8. And um, yeah, so that's what happened because of the stupid head. And um, yeah, you see, for not having the the cams, the bows, the springs, the lifters. That's what happened to to the bottom of the Mazda RX-8 engine. The rotors got full of spicy nacho, Dorito spicy. At least the e shaft is good. It's good to wash, polish. Stationary gears are good. I had to wash this um, housing. I had to just kind of wipe off the iron and clean it up. This is with the wire brush on the one too. I inspect it, but this is too much water damage. Most likely, it's, it's trash. This time we cover with all those housings, it's trash. All these parts, I have many of those already. Uh, maybe I'll keep. I'm not gonna keep anything. Maybe just the bolts, and then I will need this one, so I'll keep this one. And the spacer, the rest is trash. Anyone out there needs it. Hit me up before it, go, it goes to the trash. Today is Tuesday, the 20 something, I don't even know what day is today. But yeah. So that was one wrong, that's one wrong. Um, now being kind of serious, on the serious side, this part right here, let me kind of clean it up quick with the brush. have an idea leaving the bullshit on the side now take a look this groove nice and flat right nice and flat now look this one right here see how it comes nice and flat nice and flat and right here opens you see this little loop right here this open right here this house is trash this is what happened to the engine it overheated this right here this huge bump it's supposed to be nice and flush like this one right here. Look at the right and look at the left. That was the problem. Overheat it. The aluminum bent. Let the water pass through it. They let it sit and all the water corrosion. So this housing is also trash. This shaft is good, station is good, station is very good. Spicy Doritos are gonna be good for a display after a washing, cleaning, powder coating, or sandblaster, water brush. I'm gonna clean the irons right now, wash it, and then wire brush it. So that's all it is for today. Thank you for watching, consider subscribing, leave a comment below if you like the videos. 
If you don't like it, it's all good. Thanks for watching.